And tonight, the story of a Richmond native, Kimba Smith, is being transformed into a film. 8 News anchor Autumn Childress spoke to Smith this week about the importance of this story. Uh, uh, could you at least tell us what you're looking for? Peter Hall. Also known as tonight, the story of Kimba Smith back in the spotlight now as a movie decades after her story gripped the nation. Hey, all right, we got over, we got over the 200, man. We got over the 200, hump, y'all. I'm gonna drop the link in a minute. They let us get over 200. Salute, man. It's been a while since we got over 200 viewers on this channel, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Kimba Smith. We got to look into this. We might have to look into this to see if this woman is really innocent, man. If she bees innocent. Could you at least tell us what you're looking for? Peter Hall, also known as... Tonight, the story of Kimba Smith back in the spotlight, now as a movie, decades after her story gripped the nation. Hey! It's my baby. In 1994, at just 24 years old, the Richmond native was sentenced to 24 and a half years in federal prison for a drug crime she did not commit. Her boyfriend at the time was a drug kingpin, but when he was murdered, it was Kim. <laughs> oh, I thought she was just at the library and they came picked her up at the library. <laughs> the way they started this, I thought I thought she was at the library doing a um book report and they just stormed in the library and said, You, you come with us, you goddamn Negro, Negro wench. And just frame some shit on her or some shit. <laughs> Prison for a drug crime she did not commit. Her boyfriend at the time was a drug kingpin, but when he was murdered, it was Kimba that took the fall, facing more than two decades in prison. She became the poster child for the unfairness of the war on drugs and mandatory minimum. <laughs> Brianna Taylor situation, man. Another Brianna Taylor said Shorty was active, man. She was activated. She was activated. She was in them trenches, man. Minimum sentencing laws. And after serving six and a half years, President Bill Clinton. Oh, six and a half years. I'm cool with her doing six and a half years. Nah, I don't have a problem with her doing six and a half years. She 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 paid her debt to society, man. Six and a half years. She paid her debt. She paid her debt. Six and a half years. She paid her debt half years, President Bill Clinton heard her story and granted her clemency. And now, decades later, Kimba says she's moved that her story is still grabbing attention and worth telling. Feels like a long time coming. God has just nearly used me as a vessel to prevent others from going Hey, down. that's the same thing they said about George Floyd. <laughs> they said they used George Floyd as a vessel too, man. path that I went on. Smith calling her journey spiritual. How come God only used criminals as vessels? Have you noticed that God only uses criminals as vessels? God only uses criminals as vessels, man. (laughs) 
Yeah, she got the Donna Reed hairstyle, man. You think you you think you Donna Reed, man? Her sentence spurred a life of activism. She served on the Virginia Parole Board and the Virginia Criminal Sentencing Commission. But she says, unfortunately, yo, she's on. Think about this, man. Now remember, you we 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 got it so bad we got to work ten times as hard, right? But I'd say black. If you black, you gotta work. You gotta be ten times as good to get where a white person can get in life. Her sentence spurred a life of activism. She served on the Virginia Parole Board and the Virginia Criminal Sentencing Commission. So this woman, <laughs> think about all the people who went to law school, worked as lawyers for years just to get on the parole board or the sentencing commission. And all she had to do was be a drug dealer's girlfriend. Be it, being a drug dealer's girlfriend got her the same place as a law degree <laughs> and years of trying cases. She ended up in the same place. Went on Smith calling her journey spiritual. Her sentence spurred a life of activism. She served on the Virginia Parole Board and the Virginia Criminal Sentencing Commission. But she says, unfortunately, her story is not unique. I felt guilty. When she was granted clemency, she says she felt a sense of survivor's guilt, knowing there were thousands of other women with situations like hers still in prison. There ain't thousands of innocent women in prison. Stop it. Stop this shit. There ain't thousands of innocent women in prison. Stop this, man. I knew there were other women who had stories just like mine that didn't have the legal defense fund, you know, in their corner or so many organizations that, you know, were highlighting their case. She's now hoping this movie will help bring attention to those stories. Are you ever afraid that your daughter will forget about you? Every single day. Tonight, the director of the film, Kelly Kelly, saying telling this. Damn, smash on Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly can get it, man. Kelly Kelly can get it, man. Story was personal for her. Smith says she's excited for the world to see her story on the screen. And she leaves this message for her Richmond community. Can't wait for um, the Richmond uh, community to view it, especially with Richmond being my hometown. Um, Richmond has stood by me through thick and thin. Now, again, you can find the film Kimba on BET. And for the full interview with Kimba and Kelly, you can head to our website, WRI. Let me drop the link, man. Salute to Eric S. South Nation Hall of Famer. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you hit the PayPal cash app or the super chat. Support the damn channel. Um, shout out to Baby King, man. It says, thank you for your consistency. Yeah, man, you know how we do. Night after night after night after night, man. They fucking with my numbers, though. That is kind of um. That is kind of um. Annoying though. They fucking with my numbers hard, man. Um, fucking with a nigga numbers hard, man. Um. We got a good topic tonight too, and they still fucking with my numbers. It's almost like. It would be, listen, I would already have 300 in the chat right now. On a normal stream, I would already have 300. On a normal stream, I would already have 300. And you people over there on um, Rumble, wake up, man. Support the channel on Rumble, man. People on Rumble, wake up, man. Support the channel. Hit the like button over there on Rumble. Rumble be sleep. The Rumble channel is like, just like a, um, a wasteland, man, sometimes, man. Um, salute to um, 
Midtown Javon, man. What's happening, man? Yo, what's popping, man? What's happening? Shit, ain't shit, man. Chilling, man. Hey, man. I'm in 